been through here already? I don't even remember. I think we have, actually. Well, we'll just do one more sweep just to be safe. If you think it's necessary, sure, but I think we've been through the whole cell block three times now. And we haven't seen one rover since the first pass. Like I said, just to be safe. We're going to have children in here after all. Alright, not complaining. You can never be too careful. When we finally spread out into the rest of this prison, this place is going to be really nice. We can really make a life here. But it'd be nice if we can get the generator operating. That'll make things much better here. Even if we only run it a few hours a day. Yeah, it'll be good to listen to some music. Man, it's been so long since I've heard anything. And you know, I didn't even realize it until just now. You've had a lot on your mind for a long time. It's understandable. You know what I've been thinking a lot about lately? Morgan and... Jeez, I don't even remember his son's name. I think it was David, but I'm not sure. Who? They were staying in the house next to mine in Cynthiana, the town we lived in before. It was Morgan and his son, whatever his name was, staying in this place all by themselves. They had decided not to try to make it to a large city. They were just going to stay put, fend for themselves. Which, as it turns out, was really damn smart. I wonder about them. I wonder if they're still out there. That was over a half a year ago. So who knows? Yeah, you're right. I'm going around the corner to see what it is. You be ready to fire. Right. Shit, guys! Tyrese! Damn it, we could have shot you! Where's your flashlight? Batteries ran out. What are you guys doing back here again? I thought this area was clear. Actually, we were just finishing up here. Come on, guys. Let's go somewhere with windows. You guys find any more lurking about? No. I think we've got them all. I'd still like to search a few more areas before we start moving people into this area. If it's all the same to you guys. I'm fine with that. I don't think it's necessary, but if you think it's a good idea, fine. What about you guys? Are you done out there? That's what I was coming to talk to you about. We've dragged all the bodies out of the prison already. Billy and Axel are burning them now. Guys! Look what Maggie and I found. What is it? It's an armor chest plate thingy to some right gear suits we found. They've got face guards and all sorts of pads and everything. Really? How many? A bunch. Like ten or more, I think. I didn't really look over them that much. I want to tell you first. This is really cool, though. With this stuff, I could totally start searching for supplies in areas close to the prison, just like I did in Atlanta. These things look like they have no trouble stopping a bullet, let alone some rotten old teeth. Show us. There's no windows, so it's pretty dark in here. I imagine they had to keep this room secure. With prisoners around and all. I think it's even in an area the prisoners weren't allowed to go in. It's right next to the warden's office. Which, by the way, there's a couch in there that's way more comfortable than any of the beds we've been sleeping on. <laughs> way more comfortable. Thanks. I don't even want to stand next to that couch now. Dexter and Andrew must have gotten here in a hurry. Mostly in the dark. Maybe Dexter had a plan to break into this place already. Otherwise, I don't see how he could have gotten inside here and out like he did without getting attacked by one of the roamers. They must have just come here in the dark, stumbling around to find anything useful. Had they gotten their hands on a couple of these suits, <laughs> they'd have been much more trouble. Especially if these helmets are bulletproof. Yeah, right. Okay, guys. Looks like the prison is clear. Let's get out of here.
Whoa. Looking forward to a few years of reading? Are you kidding? I'll blow through these in a week, two at the most. I've read all of the few books I took from Herschel's farm almost three times now. Here, let me help you with that load. You left a couple in the library, right? Maury, can I have those books back, please? With the baby, you don't need to be carrying the weight. Nonsense. I'm not useless. I can carry at least this much. Besides, you're just worried some of these books will find their way into my cell before you get to read them. No, I'm really worried. You've been pushing yourself too hard. Carol, please. I'm fine. You're the one we should be worried about. How are you doing? I'm okay. I can't believe I did what I did. I wish I could just go back in time. I know what you're saying there. Believe me. I know why I did it. I I just can't believe I did it. Tyrese was... With all that was going on around us, having Tyrese, it just made it all bearable. I knew that no matter what happened, he'd be there for me. Especially after he survived being left in the gym. When that happened and he survived, I knew he was going to survive no matter what. I needed him. Maybe I still need him. Who knows? I'm, I'm such a basket case now. I, I don't even know. And poor Sophia. When I put her through, I can never take that back. It's eating me up inside, and I can never take it back. How is Sophia doing? I don't know. She seems fine. She acts like nothing happened. Which, I've got to admit, worries me more. What she saw. I just... What kind of mother am I? You're a mother who has kept her child alive during all this madness. Don't think for one minute... I think what you did was okay, but there's no point in beating yourself up over it right now. I'm sorry, Lori. I truly am sorry for what I did. Carol, what? Why are you apologizing to me? I'm sorry, Lori. It's just that you and Rick are my closest friends here, and what I did, I feel like I let you down. I love you both, and I don't want you to hate me hate you. We don't hate you. We're just worried, concerned about you. We we love you too, Carol. Thank you. You don't know how much it means to me to know that both of you love me. I should be able to go in there and catalog the guns and ammo tomorrow. Then we'll have a list of everything we've got. We should probably plan on siphoning gas so we can see if the generator works tomorrow also. Tomorrow? We've got at least five more hours of daylight left. Why don't we do that today? You're right, Glenn. We could go to the garage and siphon some of the gas out of the RV. No. We need to keep the RV ready to go. Just in case we ever have to leave here in a hurry. I agree. That's something we should do. It's smart. So, I guess we need to go out and siphon some gas out of the cars left in the prison parking lot. We could get a bunch of people together to lure the zombies away from the gate. Run out there, siphon some gas, and get back inside before they even know we're on the other side of the fence. It'll be like old times. Sounds good to me. Give me a few minutes while you gather up some people to run a distraction and I'll meet you at the gate. Where's he going? Where do you think? Alan, can't tell you how happy I am they decided to bury you instead of burning you. It makes me think of you more as being at peace. And I enjoy these talks, even though they probably go a long way to keep people thinking I'm crazy. Anyway, I don't really have time to talk today. Lots going on, like always. Hang in there. And again, I'm sorry about the leg. That's not fair! I don't care if you don't think it's fair. 
I'm not going to let you help. It's too dangerous. I want to help. Why can't I help? Everyone else gets to do something. All I ever do is play with old toys and sit around. I never get to do anything. He'd be on the other side of the fence, Lori. He wouldn't be in danger. It'd do the boy good to feel like he could be of some use. I don't care. It's too dangerous. What's going on? Everyone's gonna help lure the zombies away from the gate so you and Glenn can go get the gas. But Mom's not gonna let me help. Your mother's right. We've never done this before. We don't know what could happen. We could find a hole in the fence, or they could push the outer fence over. Maybe you can help after we've done this a few times, but right now, it's not safe. Stay with your mother. Fine. Keep moving along. Don't linger or get them too riled up. We want them to follow us. I push the fence over to get us. Someday, old man, you're gonna have to learn that not everyone is a complete dumbass. Just you, right? Fuck you. That was just a joke, Otis. Let's just focus on getting these things away from the fence so Rick and Glenn can do their jobs. Whatever. Okay, now that they've gotten most of the roamers away from the gate, we can do this. When Glenn and I are ready to get out there, pull the gate open and we'll run like hell. Keep an eye on us, though. We may need you to open the gate in a hurry when we come back. I'll probably take a hammer to the rest of these zombies out there after you and Glenn are on your way. There's no reason to just stand around waiting for you. And no reason to leave them walking around out there. Anyone seen Glenn? Where the hell is he? It was all his idea. He's probably off somewhere with that skinny little gal of his. What's her name? Maggie, isn't it? Can hardly blame him myself, you follow me? Maggie is my daughter, Axel. Oh, right. Sorry about that. Sorry I'm late, guys. As you can see, it took me a while to get dressed. And a little help. Do you really think all that's necessary? It couldn't hurt. Come on. You know you've been dying to try this out. What better time than now? Okay. I'm assuming the other suit is for me. Hand it over. Looking good. You know, they had a bunch of these up there with the suits. Might be useful if we need to bash in some heads without drawing attention to us with gunfire. I'll stick with my axe, thank you very much. I've gotten used to using it in my left hand. Can't do much of anything deadly with the right just yet, except wail on people. You guys ready? Just say the word. Come on, this way! Let's do it as fast as we can! You don't need the visor down, you know. Nobody's out here throwing things at us. It's unnecessary. We don't need the visors. We really don't need the helmets, do we? And these boots are probably slowing us down, too. I thought we were just testing this stuff out. Seeing if it's going to be useful. We're not going to have a clear line of sight in this parking lot. And I, for one, don't feel like taking risks. You're right. I just don't think you need your vision obstructed by the thing. And I know it's cool and you want the full effect and all. I'm just saying. I'm going for the full effect. You're right. So far, I'm loving this thing. I would have killed to have one of these suits back in Atlanta when we got the guns. I hear you there. This stuff is stab proof. It's gotta be bite proof. Hey man, heads up. We're not alone. I'm on it! Okay, here we are. Pick one and let's get to work. I'll keep my eyes out for any that get too close. You just worry about getting the gas. Man, most of these cars are beat all to shit. It looks like a lot of people left here in a hurry. Hey, you got some on the first try. I guess nobody here would have run out of gas in their parking space now that I think about it. You think Maggie would still respect me if she knew how good I was at sucking gas through a hose? You two seem to be getting along like a house on fire, Glenn. You guys really happy together. 
It certainly seems that way. I'm happy for you. Oh my god, Rick! Look! I'm not seeing things, am I? Holy shit, you're right. It's a helicopter. <laughs>